So um, I was eating, did you see the picture I sent of my dinner today? Yes, actually I did. Are you prepping for, uh, for McDonald's, the, the challenge? No. Was that really all yours or is that yours and Steph's? No, that was all mine. I had four sandwiches, a large fry and a large shake. Wow. Dude, that was tough. And the roast beef sandwiches are significantly smaller than the Big Macs. Welcome on in, everyone. We are back. The Cousins, of course. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's going on, guys? This is Joe. And we are here to talk another review for you from a newer company called Bastard Baby Beard Co. Super excited about this. Joe and I were just saying the other day how we love reviewing new companies, see what kind of different things they're going to bring to the beard game, how they're going to have themselves stand out. Really excited to talk with you about it. And of course, we want to thank all our loyal subscribers. And if you're not subscribed or watching right now, we would love for you to join the ride. Hit that bell. But first, we'll catch you after this intro. Welcome back from the intro, guys. So like we were saying before, today we're gonna to be doing a review for you on Bastard Baby Beard Co. Really excited to talk with you guys about this. A Little bit about the company. The owner's name is Renee. This is actually, I believe, our third company um, with the female owner, which is really cool. Always love when the uh, females get involved in the beard game and hearing their perspective on what kind of scents they like, all that good stuff. Um, so the company started back in 2019 and Renee is out of Florida. Uh, so today we have three different scents. We have two oils and two butters to talk with you guys about. Joe, go ahead and kick us off, my man. All right. So the first oil I want to talk about is the Island. And look how nice those bottles and those labels are. Yeah, those are sweet. Yep. You get that nice black uh, bottle with the navy blue uh, label that goes all the way across. And uh, she has the title of her oil right there. And that is how she uh, separates, um, that's how she separates how her, her labels look by different colors of the, uh, of the name of the, um, of the scent. Of the scent, yeah. Yep. Thank you, I'm struggling. <laughs> no worries. And before we get into it, just talking price of the oils really quick. All of her prices of oils are $14 even. I would say that's a good dollar or two below the uh, market average. Would you agree, Joe? Yeah, that's a great price for these oils. And why don't you hit us with those ingredients too? Yeah. So I got that here in front of me. So in all of the oils, the carriers are grapeseed oil, golden jojoba oil, Moroccan argan oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, and then fragrance for scent. So as you can see, not an over-the-top complex combination there. And then those are the type of oils, at least for me, that I never see any skin irritate, irritation. rather. Um, but of course, that's a personal preference type of thing um, from uh, consumer to consumer. All right. Yep. So the island, uh, the island scent is a very, uh, a very fresh, tropical uh, type smell. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's the exact profile on it? I think there's bay yeah. rum in there. And yep, bay rum, pineapple, and a little bit of ocean breeze. Okay, yeah. So when, I, when you give this a very good shake and you smell this right out of the bottle, I get a little bit of everything in there. Now, when I had this in my beard, unfortunately that freshness and that scent did not last very long for me. Um, I, ha I had it in my beard for only about an hour, which is a little disappointing for me. Uh, when I'm looking for something that's on the fresher side, I do want something that's going to last just a tad bit longer, that's going to make me relax kind of throughout the day. Um, unfortunately, you know, with that hour long span for me, I didn't get all that, um, which, which was unfortunate because it smelled amazing out of that bottle. How did it work for you, man? 
Yeah, my experience with it was a little different. I got about four to six hours roughly, so it lasted a little longer for me. Um, but I'm right there with you as far as the scent goes. This is a very subtle, fresh, almost a really fun scent. Um, if you like those type of things that are a little bit more on the subtle side, not like a really super manly type of scent, more of a, like a fruity, fresh drink type of scent, this one would be right up your alley. Um, I, I enjoyed it. You know, this, this one wasn't my favorite out of the bunch, but I definitely enjoyed this one. Yeah. And one thing that I think that Renee did very, very well um, from what I got out of it, especially in the bottle, was that the amount of rum in there, I thought was perfect. There was, yeah. it, it wasn't an overkill. Um, it would be something that I could wear at work if I wanted to and not have people think that I had some kind of issue. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, so I thought that was something that she nailed very well. And I've mm -hmm. seen some companies have a hard time with. So definitely yeah. kudos to her on that. Right, for sure. Yeah. All right. So the next scent that we're going to talk about is the Woodland. And that is what that looks like there. And yep, and while Joe's showing that off, I'll just go ahead and let you guys know, Woodland is a piney, outdoorsy, woodsy type of scent. Yep, and as you can see, the, uh, the label looks pretty much the same, except you got the yellow coloring and mm -hmm. where it says Woodland. Right. <sighs> yeah. So this scent, um, man, is, this is a tough one for me because this is a scent when I read the description, I really was looking forward to it. I, I really wanted to like. Unfortunately, the experience didn't match the, the description for me. The kind of smell that I got um, was I felt like I was in the wood section of Home Depot. Okay. It was just not something that I really enjoyed having in my beard for a long period of time. Now, like the island scent, um, it, I only got about an hour, maybe hour and a half longevity out of it. So it wasn't in there too long, but I, it, it wasn't a scent that worked for me. Um, I didn't get the real outdoorsiness that I, that I was looking forward to on that. Um, gotcha. Yeah. And I know you, you were probably different than me on that one too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This one was different for me as well. I got for all these scents and oils, I got four to six hours, which to me is, is perfect about, you know, half a day, maybe a little longer. Um, I, the, Woodland was actually my favorite out of the bunch. So that, you know, that just goes to show you what's beautiful about our channel, two different ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't get much of the pine. I actually got more of the outdoorsiness. Um, this one just felt like, again, this one was, was on the subtle side, obviously much different from Island, but um, I really enjoy, I tend to uh, lean towards more of the subtle sense. Um, and to me, this one was great. You know, this one is not offensive to anyone. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna wake anyone up early in the morning on an elevator or anything like that. To me, this was just a nice, fresh outdoor scent. I know that's uh, pretty popular in the game. So if that's something that you're into, um, I, I would recommend it. I think you would like it. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I just, I don't know if maybe there just needed to be some other stuff blended, you know, with it. Uh, maybe like, you know, like a mixed wood type thing. Um, but yeah, I just didn't, didn't totally work for me, but I, hey, you enjoyed it. So, you know, obviously there's going to be people out there that, that really like it as well, too. Yeah. Um, talk to me about how it felt and how these oils felt in your beard, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So overall, these oils felt great in my beard. My beard felt moisturized throughout the day. Um, there is just times towards the end of the day, typically, sometimes when a, when a beard oil doesn't work for me, I, even an hour later, I can just feel just scratchy and just not working. Mm. Um, towards the end of the day, I feel that sometimes. I did not feel that at all with these oils. These really worked for me. Um, felt great in the skin, felt great in the beard. I would have no problem using these on a daily basis. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. These, you know, th these are fine oils. Um, I thought that they were um, a little, a little on the greasier side for me. Um, mm -hmm. My beard uh, was, was okay on it. Um, it wasn't, again, it w these weren't products that I was absolutely like, wow, you know, really wowed uh, with um, nothing that really, you know, blew me away. Uh, but you know, they're, they're, they're really solid. And I think what Renee did um, as, as, as a new company owners, I really think she set a very good platform for herself. I think she has a lot of room 
to really grow and make some maybe adjustments if she chooses to do so with these oils. Um, and I really think she set up something really nice for herself. Unfortunately, I, these just weren't oils that I can say truly worked for me. Um, and I did not, I didn't have the best experiences, you know, with them. Um, but she left me some, she left me with something that when I get something like that, I really look forward to see what's going to happen in the future because when I don't particularly care for a product, I get anxious to see, to, to see what comes out next, to see if my mind can eventually maybe change on those, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, 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 I hear you. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into the butters. All right, All right. so we'll stick with the, uh, with the woodland scent, and this is okay. the first scent that we have here, and you have the nice black tin, uh, black tin uh, container there, uh, screw off top, which is always nice. Yeah. And the kind of butter that she is working with is a nice, creamy, uh, full body butter, uh, mm -hmm. utility butter. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. The feel of this, and I've made it known that I am more of a utility, full body type butter person. This had. I mean, the way this was nice and creamy, I mean, this was everything that I look forward to in a feel of, of what a butter, you know, should be. Uh, right. But I really, I really enjoyed that. Um, again, the scent, you know, well, we, I already discussed the scent, um, you know, wasn't, wasn't my favorite, but um, the way the butter felt wasn't, wasn't too bad. Uh, my beard, you know, my, my beard felt pretty soft in the morning. Again, nothing that, you know, blew me away, but I felt like it, it got the job done. Um, but I love the consistency and the texture that she had with, with that butter. How about you? Yeah. yeah. So real quick, um, all the butters are 1550. Okay. So you're talking $14 for an oil, 1550 for a butter. I mean, I don't know how much better you're going to do than that. I mean, that's really uh, a very fair price. And then real quick, the ingredients on the butter, we're looking at shea butter, mango butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, argan oil, and then of course, uh, those fragrances as well. And I'm right with Joe. This was for me, for a full body butter, the exact consistency that I want. Um, this is something that I actually, I'll always, whenever I test out a butter, I'm going to wear it at night. I'm also going to wear it, wear it during the day. I usually like one or the other better. I didn't. I thought this was great during the day. I thought this was great at night. My beard felt really soft in the morning when I wore it at night, which I really appreciated. And then what I look, what I personally look for during the day is I don't want my beard to feel weighed down. I want it to style pretty close to um, when I just have oil in it, just that lightweight feel. And it really did. Um, love, love the creamy texture uh, when, it, when it melts down in your hands and melts down to a really nice oil for you. Um, I just thought it was really a stand-up butter. I, I had no issues with it and would, would fully recommend it. Okay. All right. So let's dive into the last product, we, product that we have here, which is another butter. And this scent is called Baked. All right. Now, uh, this, was a very, this was a very interesting scent. Yeah, unique, right, Joe? Very, very unique. If you know what a snickerdoodle is, this is what this is what you're gonna get out of that. It's a right. very sugary uh, cookie with with cinnamon, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in it type scent. Um, and it was something that I really, really enjoyed. I wore this at night uh, primarily. I actually didn't try it in the day at all, but I wore it at night a few times. Um, yeah, I, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, it was, and unfortunately for me, I, it takes me like two hours to fall asleep. So I got every, <laughs> I got every bit of that scent for, for those two hours. The scent itself did kind of wear out its welcome with me a little bit. I kind of got hit really, you know, it, the cinnamon hit really hard for me, but overall, I mean, it was enjoyable. It was like walking into your grandma's house and who, who just got done baking a right. way too many cookies that you should ever eat. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was, it was enjoyable. It was probably my favorite out, out of, out of the other scents that we, you know, displayed for you. 
Nice. Yeah, I'm right there with you. This is one that I personally enjoyed more at night. It was really just a um, comforting, sweet smell. You know, that's that snickerdoodle sugar cookie with cinnamon. Um, you know, it wasn't for me, it was not over the top uh, sweet. Um, this is one that my wife liked the best out of all of them at night, you know, laying in bed, just a very comforting type of scent. Um, so that, you know, that was, that was really cool. If you like trying things that are a little bit different and obviously you like a sweeter smell, I think this one would be right up your alley. Yeah. So, um, so as you can see, when it comes to bastard baby overall, you know, we definitely, uh, enjoyed it for the most part. Um, we were all over the place with different types of, of opinions and things like that. We're going to go ahead and throw the link to Bastard Baby Beard Co. in the description uh, so you guys can go in and check it out for yourselves. Like we mentioned before, really some awesome prices below the, the, the median, if you will. Um, Joe, anything to close out before we uh, take off here? No, you know, um, you know, like I kind of mentioned earlier, you know, I think Renee, she has set up a very good platform for herself. Um, although I know it, it, this review probably kind of comes off a little bit more negative on my end uh, from it. Um, but again, I think there's a lot of good things that she does have here. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing what she has, you know, in, in store next. I think she's actually working on a whipped butter as well, uh, which, which will be exciting. I know, I know you love whipped butters. Um, so she definitely, again, set herself up with, 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 uh, a good platform and she should, you know, she should be coming out with uh, some good stuff there in the future. All right, brother. Sounds good. So guys, that's all that we have for you today, but as always keep it growing and we'll talk to you at the next one and take it easy guys.